This is Casey McBride, stateside with the NationalCrimesyndicate.com. January's Mob Month in Las Vegas, and in 2017, the National Crime Syndicate was there. We caught up with our friend, former casino president and author of 30 Illegal Years to the Strip, Bill Freeman, and retired Kansas City mob copper and the man behind ganglandwire.com, Gary Jenkins. Gary was in town to talk about his new book, Leaving Las Vegas. He took the time to sit down and talk mob biz with us. Here he tells of how he interrupted a hit on Carl Spiro by Kansas City underboss Tuffy DeLuna at the infamous Virginia Tavern. We have an underboss named Carl Tuffy, called him Tuffy DeLuna. I don't know how he got that nickname Tuffy, but I think it's probably because he was tough, because this was a tough dude. This, this is a cold eyed dude. The time I get in front of the Virginia Tavern, the same car has gone around the block the other way, and they come back out by the Virginian. And they see me driving by and they pull in behind me. And so I go one block east and, and I get to a street called Paseo, Paseo Boulevard, and I take a ride on Paseo. And when you take a ride there on Paseo and start south, it immediately becomes an all black neighborhood and, you, and about two blocks from there are the projects. So I turn right and they're right behind me and they stay behind me and we go through one light and they're still behind me and we go through the second light. They're still behind me and I'm, I've got the radio down in my hand I'm, so I'm gonna hold it up and I'm going, hey, these dudes are following me and I, it looks like Tuffy's in there. I'm not sure, but there's three of them in the car. So everybody else is trying to, and uh, somebody said, well, I need to call a uniformed officer over here to get them stopped because the only way we can stop them is run them off the road. And, and, it's, it's one of those dicey situations. It's best if you can get a uniform over there to hit them with red lights and siren. That way there's no gunplay, there's no mistaken identities. And, and so we get to 12th Street, this is Arts of Six, we get to 12th Street and, and I stop at 12th Street and they pull up on my left because it's a four lane there and, and they pull up on my left and I just, I could feel these eyes on me sitting there waiting for the light to turn. And I glance over and there's Tuffy just looking at me, just staring at me. And then he gives me about a half a grin. And they immediately take a left on 12th Street and they just, and I go straight. I, I'm like committed to go straight. And nobody else has been able, they can't get uniformed over here by this time. And they're headed that way, but they're not even close enough yet. And they take off left and we never saw them again. Well, we know now. They had, he had gone out, Joe had gone out, gotten Tuffy, they'd gotten what they call a work car, a car they had already, they had their guns ready, they were gonna go try to hit him down there at the Virginian. And, and, and as soon as he saw, he pulled up next to me, as soon as he saw a 30 something white guy in a nondescript car in an all black neighborhood, that, you know, I just had, I'm sure I had police written all over me. <laughs>